Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will check different tips and tricks that have worked for many Shark Robot Vacuum Cleaner users to resolve their Wi-Fi connectivity issues. So if your robot is not connecting to the Wi-Fi, then try these steps. Moreover, this video guide works for all Shark Vacuum models. So first and foremost, simply just try to reboot all your devices. So first, unplug your modem from power, then your router, and then turn off your robot vacuum. Then turn them back on after 60 seconds and check if it resolves your issue. Secondly, we recommend you to delete the robot from the app and uninstall the app and then reinstall it back again. Then reset the vacuum too by holding the clean button until you hear a noise from it. Once done, put the robot vacuum onto the dock and wait for it to get back on. Once fully on, the Wi-Fi light will not be there on the robot since we have reset it. If you see it there, then you will need to reset it again. Once done, open the Shark app and then start its setup again. Fourthly, make sure 2.4 GHz SSID is enabled on your router as this robot vacuum cleaner only supports that. You can check that by logging into your router. And if you don't know how to log in into your router, then check the video given in the description. Next, try to edit your SSID to something without any special characters or extra spaces. For example, if you are using will-smith-2.4 GHz, then you can edit it to will-smith-2.4 GHz and then try connecting your robot again to this SSID. You can also try to change your 2.4 GHz channels to 169 or 11 and then try connecting your robot again to the Wi-Fi. Sometimes changing the security type on the router has also helped many users. You can change the security type to WPA-PSK or WPA-2PSK. Many users said when they changed the security type to WPA-3PSK, then they were not able to connect the robot vacuum. Fifthly, try to use your robot vacuum in the same room as the router or your Wi-Fi access point as poor Wi-Fi connectivity can also make your robot to not get connecting to the Wi-Fi. Moreover, if your robot vacuum shows an error code and you don't know what it means or how to resolve it, then watch video given in the description. Sixthly, turn off the VPN on your phone in which you have the Shark app and then try to restart the phone also and then try the setup again. Seventhly, change the Wi-Fi password on your router, sometimes the Shark app won't recognize the special character in your password. So change it to something alphanumeric and then try adding the robot to the Wi-Fi again. Eighthly, try to manually connect to the Shark Wi-Fi showing up in your Wi-Fi list while trying the setup in your app. For many users, the setup worked on the iPad and not on the iPhone, so you can try that also. Moreover, some users were able to get to the robot vacuum interface using its IP address and subnet mask. It may sound strange, but it is written by users in community forums. So when you connect your phone or iPad to the robot vacuum's Wi-Fi, then go to its Wi-Fi network details and note down the IP address or its subnet mask into the address bar of the browser on the same device. And if it breaks the interface, then voila, you are the lucky one. So these are some of the steps that you can follow to resolve your Wi-Fi connectivity problem with the Shark Vacuum. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you.